Hey guys, very love and welcome to a new let's play. Hey, it's been a long time since I started a new let's play, but here we are. And this is something a little different. This is a game called To the Moon. This is actually the first, well, uh, I don't, yeah, this is not a console game at all. This is the first, like, computer game I did. So this game, this is a game I played a couple months ago, and this game, I don't know, it's crazy good, but... It's a little different than what I usually do. This is not like, I don't know. I'm sure a lot of people have heard about this game by now, but this game is not super long or anything like that. So this will be a little different. It's not like action packed and stuff like that. So it's a really, really, really nice game though. It's the story, it's basically story lane, story line based. Like the story is the biggest part of the game besides the gameplay. Like the gameplay is not a huge part of it, but this is a game I really enjoyed playing, so I thought, oh, why not, since I finished Golden Sun, start a new game. I don't know if I'm going to do voice acting, because there's a lot of, it's only text, but I'll see. I love the music in this game, because it's by Laura Shigihara, does some of the music. If you didn't know, if you don't know who that is, she's the one who did uh, the music for Plants vs. Zombies, and oh man, that music. Oh, I need to check my time. Uh, okay, well, I got a kind of a idea how long the video's going. Alright, so I had a big old house on the sea. Apparently we got a moat out here. Ooh. What's going on here? Ah, I can't click anything, you know it looks like I can. Whoa. Jeez. That was loud. Yeah, interrupted moats out. Well. Start off with a tragedy already. Oh, well, it looks like there were survivors. Who are you looking, Neil? Oh, so this is Dr. Rosalind. Well, excuse me for her ugly evading a squirrel coming out of nowhere. Well, you landed over anyway. <laughs> oh, I probably won't go like super into the voice acting. You ran, you ran over and hit a tree. That's some pretty... How do you get, like, in there at that angle, but... Look, no worry, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? No one's gonna kill us. Huh. Well... We'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? <laughs> More of a cat person. We'll say we're saving a cat. Why does the world have to be so complicated? <laughs> Fine. Whatever football he fancies, case is averted. Good. Go ahead and I'll report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Ooh. Let's go. Let's go look at the squirrel. Oh, I want to click the squirrel. Got the sucker. Let's go. You don't have to look at the menu here. Dr. Neil Watts and Dr. Ever Rosalind. So that's the people we'll be playing as most of the time. Uh, there we go. How do you move again? Oh, right, there we go. So what we got here. Actually, I think you just use the key, uh, keys to control. Tisk tisk. Oh, come on. A crash car trying to evade it. What more do you want? Yeah, you don't even have to use the mouse for those ones. Just get out of the way. Not crash the car and evade it? That's asking too much. You can just use the arrow keys and uh, space to do most of this. Let's go. Well, actually, let's get back in the car. This is like... I don't... I think this is a Japanese game. I think so. I'm not sure entirely on that one, but... Oh, wait. Don't forget the car. So I want to see if you remember. Oh. <laughs> How thoughtful of you. <laughs> Gotta make sure, you know, they have a button that actually closes the doors and locks it. Ooh. It's kind of like a gold sun. Trees with no tops to them. Uh, oh god. Look at a boulder here. Maybe it's a security system. Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. <laughs> I should have pushing it out of the way. Maybe we can find a tree where to jack it with. Wait. Or, we can just call it a night and blame it on that. <laughs> just give up. Push up a hand. Find a branch. Abort mission. Go home. Let's just push it. Alright. On three. One. Two. Three. Whoa. What the hell? Huh? I, I don't even. <laughs> what was that? Not a boulder, that's for sure. What the hell? Uh, we need to get going for now. No, we can't question this. 
Well, we'll figure that thing out later. Right. Yeah, I don't need the mouse. I have the keys. Whoa. The squirrel's gonna see the fallen comrade. Poor squirrels. So this game is just filled with funny lines. Why these? I love these characters. They're so, they're so funny. They're such, I don't know. They just make up so many jokes during the game. All right. Well, I guess this is where our goal is. Still don't know what we're doing here. Besides, this is the house of Mozart. Little Mozart. Ma, they're here. Huh? Ooh. It's a big house. Holy crap. It's like you could live in here. Not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. <laughs> Full of himself. Night shifts. Love him or hate him. You know the answer, you stupid owl. Oh my god. It's probably gonna be another all nighter, you know. I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up! <laughs> okay, well, they enter the door. The ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. <laughs> and your eyelids will. <laughs> Don't forget the equipment, moron. Oh, yeah. I got my silver box. I don't get paid enough for this. I thought you were gonna make enough to, for this big old house. Like how he walks backwards in. Act one. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. What was lighthouses? So this game starts off a little like you don't really know what's going on, but don't worry. It'll make sense soon enough. Doctor what? Doctor Rosalina, I presume. That would be us. Thanks for coming on such short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? <laughs> what kind of little mug is that, Watts? Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. Ooh, children. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. Not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose it's Johnny is our man? Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no. He just prefers to be called that. Oh. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. So, apparently we're here, we're here to see a dead person, well, a dying person. Come on, grab the case and let's go. My back breaks one day. I'll sue you with the insurance claim. <laughs> grab it. Receive equipment. Let's go. All right, let's head upstairs before I drop this scumbag. Doesn't even help. Go upstairs. That seems to be the logical thing to do. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. Quick, to the piano. I wish I had a big old piano to play. No fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever. You get the boring two notes anyways. Huh. Kid's not bad. Pretty good they can play in sync like that so well. So, so we're here to see the dying person. It's all like really safe for now, but you'll see. I'll explain it when it happens. Like it gets a, they don't really fully explain it too well, so I'll make sure they explain it because it can get a, a little tad bit confusing. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. There was a door there. It didn't look like it, but... Uh, so what's going on here? Ready to set up? Uh, let's take a look at that. Gee, you know, I think I'd like to carry this excruciatingly heavy object and add some more. Thanks for asking, though. What's going on here? No, he can't talk to the old timer. He's unresponsive at this point. But by the looks of things, he'll still conscious he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. What are we doing? Uh it's set up. Yes, it'll just be a moment. Alright, we're setting up to see we can't really talk to the old guy. But apparently we're here to see him. Hey. 
Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries. We are the experts. Whoa. Oh, crap. Aha, success. Standard procedures. Just keep keeping you on your toes. <laughs> oh. Whoa. What the hell? Pretty high-tech stuff we got going here. How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say, he's got just a day or two left. That's plenty of time. What are we doing? Are we saving him? So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we always succeed, because we're awesome. Confidence is key. So what's the wish? The moon. What? The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. Huh. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? <laughs> so, can you do it? I love how you're just insulting him and like... Well, not really insulting him, but it's like... No one's really saying anything about it. It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That... I don't really know much... Oh. I thought you were going to say something else. Johnny's an odd man. Over the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. Oh, so I guess that's why you're here. I don't really know many details. Hmm. I would have known, I would have known more if I was paperboy for Pete's sake. <laughs> oh god. Shush. Just do your thing. <laughs> well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind, since he signed for you two. Hmm, so be it. Oh, time to snoop. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Uh, let's go with... Hmm, well, I'll watch seem busy. We'll go with Ursula. Thanks for the offer, but I'm busy leaving a butt, leaving a butt print on this chair. <laughs> Alright, do continue. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They're probably at the piano downstairs. Alright, thank you. So I guess we're going to go snooping around this guy's this old man's house. Start down here. Can we even get by? Oh, yes, we can. This is the bathroom. It is. Where's the light in this place? We need a light. There we go. Look at this throne. The almighty throne. Oh. I don't think we could learn much about anything by his toilet. But. Oh. Nothing to do in here. I guess we we'll go see the children. The wee children know everything. They probably, they probably know more about it than anything, because they've probably been snooping around the whole time. Wait, come back here for a moment. I have something for you. What? You know something about the old timer? Here, take this. It's dangerous to go alone. A remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. Thanks. I was going to ask for it. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in menu. Sweet. Now we know when he's dying and or dead. What's this? Phone? No, can't can't activate the phone. Damn, listen to those kids. Listen to these kids go, they're still going. Damn. Sorry to interrupt children. What you want? Uh show me around. No, keep playing. Quit bothering. Nice. Oh, Weird little kids, aren't you? Let's take a look at here. Just explore the house. Ooh, a candy cane. I kind of want that candy cane. I like the graphics, how, like, the shading in this game looks. Like, you know, it kind of looks like that's how it would look if, like, a light, an old light bulb got turned on. What, what's this? Ew. Garbage. Yeah, we'll take a quick walk around the house or we'll listen to the beautiful music of these children. So, we haven't really... It hasn't really explained what we're doing here. Oh, it seemed to be trying to make a wish come true or something like that. Don't really know how or why or anything, but it doesn't really explain exactly until a little later. So don't don't get too confused. Uh, better ask those kids first. Go inside, anyways. We're going in. Ooh, ooh this looks dangerous. To get out of here. Alright, let's go down here. Better ask those kids first. Uh, let's go down. Wow, this is a really, this is a really nice basement. 
but we'll go back up. So I'm just like wasting time because I don't want to talk to the kids yet because they'll start doing a bunch of stuff and I want I want to do that next time. So yeah, I, mean, I think we're gonna end the episode off here just for the first episode. I'll probably make them a little longer next time, but this is the debut of To the Moon. So yeah, so I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this let's play. Like I said, it won't be a terribly long let's play, but it'll I'll try to like space out enough, but. Like I said, this game this game is really nice. I really enjoyed this game and yeah, I hope you guys will too. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time for more I almost said so far for more, <laughs> for more to the moon. Yeah, later guys.